Hi friends, let's go see you again. I'm Melody from GBH Biotech. We produce the best probiotic stream for gut health, called Stridium Biotericum. In my previous video, we talked about why gut health is so important to animal farming business and what is the meaning of healthy gut. Today, I will talk about what is probiotic and the relationship between probiotic and antibiotic in animal farming. Animal feed provides necessary nutrients and energy for the livestock, but sometimes it's not enough. In animal farming business, people also use feed additives for many productive purposes, such as improving feed quality, digestibility, animal performance, and overall health. This table compares some of the most popular feed additives. We can clearly see that all of them are targeting the gut, and the probiotic has the most comprehensive functions with low cost. Obviously, the best choice. Probiotic is, in fact, all around us in daily life, such as yogurt, wine, bread, and so on. Also used very broadly for agricultural and industrial purposes. But we will focus on one thing here. How can we use probiotic solution to help animal farming business? So, first things first, let's learn what is probiotic. Here is the most accepted definition. Live microorganisms which when administered in an adequate amount of beneficial microorganisms, confer a healthy benefit on the host. Some contain metabolites or aid beneficial growth promoting factors, which have the functions of maintaining the microecological balance of both internal and external environment of the plants, animal and human body, improving health and protect the environment. Here are the key words. The effective probiotic should firstly be life. Dead bacteria is not good. Second, must be used in adequate amount. The first certain dosage will not work well. Third, it has to be beneficial bacteria. Harmful or pathogenic bacteria is the enemy. Fourth, the core mechanisms of probiotic is maintaining the balance of microflora. We know everything in our world is about balancing, both physical and spiritual, all lands, relationships, the ecosystem, and so on. Just think about it. Probiotic works the same way. Next, I will talk about the relationship between antibiotic and probiotic. The first thing we should know is there two are not good friends because antibiotics will wipe out the both good and bad bacteria in gut and their mechanisms are very different. Some would say, I prefer antibiotics, it's necessary for me to avoid massive casualties when my livestock gets sick, it's very bad for business. So, if I use antibiotic, I can't use probiotic. Well, it's very much understandable, but not 100% correct. Massive loss of livestock is indeed devastating, especially for small farms. This is exactly where the probiotic can prove big help to prevent this from happening in the first place by improving immunity and overall health. Animals don't easily get sick or don't get too sick, so it would be much easier and less expensive for us to cure them. Furthermore, probiotic is in fact compatible with antibiotics. Probiotics help animals quickly back to health and recover from the side effects caused by antibiotics. They can work by taking turns normally feel this gap. So, using antibiotics sometimes would be a necessary solution, but probiotic is truly a better way. I have listed some key differences for probiotics and antibiotics, so we will have a clear understanding of the idea. 
First, probiotics can be applied daily to improve or maintain overall health of the animals, where antibiotics are only used when sick. Second, probiotic is risk-free and almost all antibiotics have side effects. Third, probiotic is a high-value-added solution because it will increase the profitability of animal farming by improving productivity. Here growth rate, more and better meat and milk production, better egg laying rate, lower FCR, and so on. Farmers will save money on antibiotics. In the other hand, people use antibiotics to reduce their potential loss, like their fair fetters. No matter how fast they put their fair out, there would be still some losses. The best to do is to prevent this fair in the first place. Fourth, Probiotic is environment friendly and also no drug residue. Antibiotic, in the other hand, the drug residue will stay in the meat and pass on to humans, making humans to develop drug resistance. When people get sick, the antibiotics will be less effective and also create some super bacteria with very high drug resistance. This is actually a real world problem. More and more countries now start to have strict policies to control the usage of antibiotics in animal farming. Some antibiotics are completely forbidden. Everyone ha has been very keen to find alternatives for antibiotics, and the probiotic solutions are becoming more and more accepted, and the demand is soaring high around the world. Thanks. Probiotic is multifunctional. Where antibiotics often have one target function, we will discover the functions of probiotic very soon. Let's make a summary of the above story. The glorious area of antibiotics will be gone, and the future belongs to probiotics. So, what do you think of probiotic and antibiotic? Please share your comments with me. Tell your story of how probiotic benefits your animal farming business. In my next video, I will talk about the functions of probiotic in a manner which everybody can understand easily. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.